forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow.
14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. 
I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well.
What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what... Horrors await down here. 